Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces for your May 2023. You're going to apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Why did they do this? So we're going to take a look at someone that you dealt with or that you're currently still dealing with. We're going to see what this person did to you and why they did it. Okay. Um, so uh, even though this is even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. So apply this to your own situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you. Take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, Pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So tell me about Pisces, the person that Pisces is dealing with or was dealing with. What did this person do to Pisces? What did this person do to Pisces for May 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Pisces. We have the Empress, Libra, Taurus here. We have the Knight of Wands. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that was toying with you like a toy. Okay? This person came and go went as they pleased. You know, I feel like this person only wanted you or needed you when they wanted to, you know, bonk you. Uh, but I feel like you turned your back on this individual here. Okay? Whoever this is, I do feel like this person currently in this very moment, they are chasing you hardcore. But at the same time, they're really not looking for anything serious here. Um, some of you guys might have guides as dragons here, okay? Some of you guys might have a couple of them, two, three, or four, okay? Um, so I feel like your dragons or your guides here are warning you here, uh, Pisces, all right? Regarding this individual here. Um, let's see. All right, we have the Eight of Swords here and the Four of Pentacles. This person does create a lot of fear here. You know, the fear stems from this person going in and out or that this person's not, just not giving to this connection here or that this person's taking from you. It seems like this person's only in it for the sexy time with the Ace of Wands here. Ten of Swords. Definitely, you know, I, I, I feel like this is more so like a newer person here. I do feel like there is a potential that this person can't, can't betray you. So I feel like you're trying to get out while you can sort of thing. Yeah, you're getting out while you can. Because I feel like you're in the middle of it or that you're in the thick of it right now. Tell me about the Empress here. We have the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in the world. Yeah, okay. This is something that you're ending with this individual. You're protecting yourself. Yeah, you don't want to share your cups with this individual because they're going to drink it and spit it all over you, basically. Okay? Um, tell me about the Eight of Swords here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? And the Strength card. I, I do feel like this is an individual that's scared to go deep that's scared to be vulnerable because I feel like this person hasn't really shared a lot about themselves. You know, I, I, I feel like you don't really know like any deep details of this person's history. It's just very surfaced. You know, I feel like this person might talk about like the news a lot, you know, what's going on in current events. I feel like this person might talk about very surfacey stuff. Um, just nothing really, yeah, it's nothing, it's nothing really deep. Nothing really deep here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. We have the Lovers, Ten of Swords, and the Death card here. I do feel like you and this person do have a very intense soul connection here. Gemini energy here with the Lovers, Scorpio energy here with the Death card. But I see this coming to an end here. I see you completely disengaging from this individual. Now keep in mind, uh, you know, this is just a general read. Uh, you could apply this to your own timeline. This could have already happened happening right now, happen in the future here, okay? So just keep in mind, energies can change. Um, 
Tell me about Pisces here. Why did this person do this to Pisces? Why did this person do this to Pisces? For May 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. We have the Ace of Swords. Okay. Chariot, Cancer Energy. Any of the energies that I'm reading out, you could be dealing with any of those energies. You could have any of those energies in your chart too. All right. Wow, seven of swords and the four of wands. Okay. Yeah, um, this is a this is not a very honest individual. Could be a situation that they've lied about wanting to be in a relationship with you, wanting to be in a commitment here with you. Could also be a situation while this person was with you, they were already talking to someone else online on dating websites here. Or that this person, you know, I mean, this person kind of made you look bad and talked really poorly about you here too, uh, um, Pisces. Why is this Ace of Swords here? And the Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, the Chariot, and the Page of Wands. It just seems like you were dealing with someone here that's incredibly immature. This individual has a hard time taking responsibility for their actions. I see, it, I mean, this person's definitely running away from it. I mean, if you've called this person out on their behavior, this person runs away. Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Hermit, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this is you disconnecting from this, walking away from this, and moving away from this. Okay, so you rather be alone than to actually deal with this BS. Like I said, I feel like it's almost, I feel like some of you guys are like in the middle of it, in the thick of this. And I feel like, you know, like I said, you guys are getting out while you can. Yeah. So I feel like you're trying to protect your cups. You're trying to protect your pentacles. You're trying to protect yourself here. You're distancing yourself from this situation here and perhaps ghosting this person. All right. So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.